Well, I found a new toy. I ventured out to the thrift store today and uh, found a little box. This little box right here has, uh, it looks like cookie cutters, but they're too small. So I'm kind of thinking they're for cake decorating or or something. Uh, but I thought, ooh, I could do some stuff with those. And it's stars and squares and it's got a little gizmo that has the heart and a star on the on each end and got a razor blade on it under there but so it's got all this stuff plus it had all these letters in there and i was just basically taking a chance on oh it's got numbers and there's some letters and it has punctuation things and then here's all and there's so when I got it home, I made sure I got them all out and made sure that I had at least one of the entire alphabet. The The thing is, I don't know how, I don't know how they could use them with this little back on it. It's got a little square gizmo on the back. And so I had to improvise, and that's one of the things I'm going to show you. See, it has that little square business and you can pinch that and put it in the little deal that I'm going to show you. The little thing that you're supposed to stick it in is this little holder thing here. Well, if you put them all in a holder, that means you have to stick them on, you have to use them as they're all in a straight line. Well, I don't do anything straight. Who does? So, and, and the other thing is, while I was piddling around with it, I realized that I can't, if I had to go back and sort of reinforce something, it was difficult and it actually impossible to line this back up uh, with all those letters across there. So, it just was proving my point that it was impossible for me to um, do anything in a straight line. So, uh, I, I always carry one of these around. This is one of those little erasers that artists use, and I carry the, they're everywhere. I have one in my, each sketchbook and in the car. But these little things, the little white gizmo that comes out of these erasers was the perfect size to, here's one of those little letters, it was the perfect size to stick into, I probably can't do that with one hand, well maybe I can, into the back of this. So I sort of, let me see, I stuck these letters onto the end of this eraser to use them on the pots. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. But I want you to see what I got. I got that whole box of stuff in there for a dollar. So, and I took some, just some regular cooking oil like this and this stuff. And I poured a little bit in my spoon rest. And so with the letter on, stuck on the end of that eraser, I'm going to dip it in some oil and then just kind of blot some of it off right here and then just to keep from pushing it in. So I'm gonna use this little eraser thing to sort of toggle that letter into the side of the clay. Well, I didn't get it very straight, but that's okay. And let me push it in a little further. So I'm just gonna, you can probably see, I'm just kind of wiggling back and forth. This one is a little drier than the other one is. But you can see what a nice, clean impression that makes. And of course, you can wipe off the goo afterwards. So I'm going to perch you right on top of this water bottle while I... Where'd you go? I got my M on there. I'm going to get my E. And... Stick that on there. See, I'm just sticking each letter on the on the eraser as I need it. 
dip it in the oil and then figure out where I want to put that. I didn't like the spacing that your options had either on there. So I can get these letters as close or as far from each other as I want. So I'll put the D. And get it right. So I can make it whimsical. It's kind of whim. This is turning into a kind of whimsy thing. Just make sure you spell your word right. Or if you don't spell it right, make sure that people will get the joke or they'll think that you spelled it wrong. M E D. And I will go back playfully that way. And if you don't get it right, and you have it, if you don't get it right the first time and you have it in this little thing, you can't line it back up again, M-E-D-I. And so I really like this option better. Where's my I? M-E-D-I-C, I need a C. Where's my C? Oh, it's on here. C. Let's get that chat out of the way. C, 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 C. Make sure you have your letters right side up. Stick it in the oil. So what's going to happen to the oil on a piece of greenware? C. Yep, you got it. It's going to burn out in the bisque fire. So it will be gone. So you don't have to worry about about it resisting glaze or anything. You just need to make sure you clean up your area and clean your tools so that your tools uh, don't get anywhere near or content where they could contaminate your area that you're going to be glazing or your hands. So you want to be doing this at a completely different time. C A. Let's get that A part there. A. A. Because if you'd get it on the bisque after it's been fired, which you wouldn't, shouldn't even have it in the same area where you're glazing and everything. It'll be fine. There it says medical. Yeah, I know. Y'all are all trying to guess what that's going to say, and you probably already guessed. Now, I just want you to know that this is a request from somebody else. Not my idea. <laughs> so don't be drawing any conclusions now. So I'm going to tilt this one now, make that one straight up. There. And then the next one is this one. So each one, I'm just sticking the different letters on there. Dip it in, in there. You could probably use WD-40. Do I want that straight? Let's make that like that. <laughs> okay, don't judge me. 
All right, so now let's see what we've got that we can decorate with. It came with some little stars and what else did it come with? So we got a little star, I like the stars. Well, here's some flowers too, there's a little goofy shape. Let's see what this, well, no, I like the star. It kind of goes with the other one. And if you wear out the end of this thing, you know, I can see I'm kind of cutting into it a little bit. You can just cut it off and wash it off and you have a new end that you can use to, oops. And I may need to do that because it, well, I twisted it just a little bit and it seemed to work. <laughs> Like, see, there's a little star. We'll have fun with this little star. Depending on how uh, how set up your clay is, but if your clay isn't very well set up yet, you need to put your hand back there and make sure that you don't push through. Oh, and this goes for whether I'm doing this or anything, so. <laughs> Let's put that right above that eye. So there. I like that. So let's see, where do we want another? Let's put a little star over here. They're just kind of going on there randomly. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put two more. Six. I like odd numbers in things. I see there's three, six, and let's put another one. Let's put another one right over here. Okay. All right. So there, there is that one. So after you have um, pushed pushed your little letters and things and decorated it however you want to, I would recommend going back to the wheel with it. it and mine is still stuck on the wheel, but I'm going to go back to the wheel and make sure that I didn't get this out of round. So, uh, and then I'll just let it dry and bisque fire it just with everything else. And you'll probably be seeing this because um, I probably will, uh, after I bisque fire it, I'll be definitely uh, bringing it to you on, on a video for glazing. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with it as a glazed piece. Okay, well, I just thought I'd share this with you. See you later. To clean up, I put hot soapy water in a Pyrex cup and I put those little guys down in the bottom of there. They're all sitting in there. Uh, and that oil is going to come off and clean that out. Make sure that you clean up your entire area. Use a paper towel so you can just throw it away. Use Dawn dishwashing liquid because it's, it really cuts grease and uh, gets the oil off of things. And then on your bat, because I definitely touch this bat with my oily hands, uh, make sure you wash that with hot soapy water before you take it back out to the studio. Here is the other canister, one of the other canisters. And it's, it has been drying. It's going, these are going to have a lid that's very similar to this lid. And so, only bigger of course, but it's going to have a lid that goes, goes on it like so. And those haven't come off the bats yet. Here is the lid for the, the, the canister that I just showed you. It will be dry 
probably by the end of today. And these are the cute little, the other canisters that I did. These have a completely different look to them because they're, the shape of them is different. And then that one, I think I showed you this one in a different video where I replaced the lid to this. I, I didn't quite like the original lid that I made for it, so I put another lid on it. Okay, well, as you can see, I've got my work cut out for me. That's about it on the letterings.